today i am going to solve the ncert question chapter 5 the laws of motion so the question number 1 for simplicity in numerical calculation take g equal to 10 meter per second square given give the magnitude and direction of a net force acting on a okay go for the a a drop of rain following down with constant speed so this suppose this is a drop a drop is a following down with constant speed this is a given constant so the what is a net force okay so as you know according to newton's second law net force equal to called mass into acceleration what is acceleration here if the v equal to constant so the dv by dt will be zero so now we have acceleration equal to zero so the f net equal to mass into zero this equal to zero so f net on the rain drop will be zero so now in the b case b case you have a cork of mass 10 g floating on the water suppose that there is one cork mass is given 10 g floating on the water so this floating on the water so mg will act in downward direction and buoyancy force acts in upward direction so the net force here net force equal to mg minus fb that equal to 0 because it's floating so the net force you have here also 0 sec c a kite skillfully held stationary in the sky so let's discuss c so it given a stationary stationary it means net force is a zero so the net force equal to zero in the third case also d a car moving with constant velocity 30 km per hour on the rough road so here again given constant so v is a given constant if v equal to constant then dv by dt this equal to zero so as a lesson if you have zero so net force will be mass into acceleration that is a zero again so the last one e a high speed electron in a space far from all material object and free of electric and magnetic field as we know in the space in the space there is no magnetic force there is no electric force and there is no gravitational force so the net force will be again zero let's go for another question question number 2 a pebble of mass 0.5 kg a pebble of mass 0.5 kg is thrown vertically upward give the direction and magnitude of net force on the pebble okay go for the one during its upward motion so velocity direction is given upward okay always as you know mg will act in downward direction mass into mg will act always in downward direction so give the direction and magnitude of the net force on the pebble so the net force on the pebble equal to mass is given 0.05 into g g you have to take 10 so this will be 0.5 newton okay net force on the pebble okay so here net force in the downward direction you have let's discuss the b during its downward motion so suppose that pebble is now coming in downward direction in this case also again net force will act only mg that is in downward direction either pebble will go in upward direction in downward direction always g act in downward direction so the second case also net force will be 0.5 newton go for the c at the highest point where is a momentarily at rest okay at the highest point suppose that if you have velocity is zero at the highest point that time also the force will act mg in the downward direction so the again net force will be 0.5 newton okay okay do your answer change if the pebble was thrown at an angle 45 degree with the horizontal direction so let's discuss suppose that you are throwing with 45 degree with the horizontal direction okay then what will happen your horizontal velocity will be v cos 45 vertical velocity will be v sin 45 but always in the path everywhere mg will act in the downward direction every point either from the beginning at the highest point every point mg will act in the downward direction so the f net force is a m into g that is a 0.5 newton in the everywhere in the journey so it will not affect through the angle go for the next question question number 
give the magnitude and direction of the net force acting on the stone of mass 0.1 kg just after it is a drop from the window of a stationary train okay so suppose that there is a train and now train is a stationary and suppose that here you have window and now we are going to throw just we are going to drop the uh, stone okay so if you drop the stone mg will act in the downward direction and there is a because train is not moving there is no acceleration so net acceleration due to train is a zero so in the first case only mg will act in the downward direction so the mg m into g m is given 0.1 kg and g is a 10 so that will be the 1 1 newton in downward direction downward direction okay b just after it is a drop when the window of the train running at constant velocity again constant velocity it means acceleration in the horizontal direction that you can write dv by dt that is again zero because given here constant velocity so in the second case again mg will be in downward direction that is a one newton in the third case c just after it is a drop from a window of train and train is relating with 1 meter per second square so see ball is a going downward direction with a with the force mg but because train is a moving with 1 meter per second square in the horizontal direction so now a stone has two type of acceleration one is a mg in the downward direction and other is a horizontal direction due to inertia because train is a moving with a acceleration if you, any stone throw from the train a stone also has same acceleration acceleration of train in the same direction so train has x direction 1 meter per second square acceleration so here you have to write m into a so now m into a if you calculate 0.1 into 1 that will be 0.1 meter per second square and here you have 1 so this will be the 0.1 and this is the 1 newton and here you have 0.1 newton so now we have to calculate the net force so the net force will be under root of 1 square plus 0.1 square okay and then you have to write this is the net force okay go for the d lying on the floor of a train which is accelerating in 1 meter per second square okay a stone being at rest relative to the train okay so in the last case suppose there is a train and train is a moving with a 1 meter per second square and there is a one object a stone is a lying here so the mg will act in downward direction and normal reaction force also act in upward direction so in the mg equal to n so the net force in the vertical direction net force in y direction equal to 0 now what is the you have force you have because now net force in x direction that equal to mass into acceleration so the mass is given 0.1 kg and acceleration is a 1 so 0.1 newton so in this d case only force is acting on this is a opposite to the acceleration that is equal pseudo force so you have to go in this direction so that is a 0.1 newton in the horizontal direction there is no any vertical force so net force will be 0.1 newton okay next question one end of the string of length l is connected to the particle of mass m and the other to a small peg on the smooth horizontal table if the particle moves in a circle with a speed v and net force on the particle is okay so suppose that there is a table here and center is a connected with the string okay and this is the length is given l and here you have mass m as you know if any object moving in the circular path either with the constant speed and non-uniform speed okay in the both the cases there is a one force that towards the center that is called centripetal force here in the centripetal force is a form of tension in the string you have okay sometimes suppose the car is moving around the circular track that is a friction will be the form of centripetal acceleration so t is a called t is a centripetal acceleration and that is equal to the you have you can write mv square by r that is length of the circular path so t equal to mv square by r but net force is acting here only that is a t so the answer is a first a constant second another question a constant retarding force 50 newton is applied to the body of mass 20 kg moving initially with a speed 15 meter per second how long does the body take to a stop okay force is a given here so what is the acceleration you have to find force by mass so the force is here 
50 newton divided by mass is at 20 so that will be 2.5 meter per second square okay this is the sls and five initial velocity u is a given 15 meter per second and the final velocity because final velocity going to stop it means 0 meter per second okay so you have to find the time so v equal to u plus a t final velocity is 0 initial velocity is given 15 meter per second plus acceleration you have to write retardation because this is a retarding force so acceleration you have to write minus minus 2.5 minus 2.5 into t so the t will be 15 divided by 2.5 so 150 divided by 25 so the 6 second this is the answer you have